Hey everyone, this video is going to walk you through using SafeAssign and what it looks like on the other end once students submit a SafeAssign assignment. So I'm going to come into my Blackboard class and I'm going to go into the folder where I have it and I've already created an assignment and I've already done one submission but I'm going to show you how a student would submit as well. All right, so I created this assignment. So I went up to assessments and I selected assignment. And so I'll just show you the options I selected in order to turn on the safe assign option. So I gave the assignment a title. You can put directions here or anything that you want to um, for the students to access. You can also put files here, like if you had a rubric you wanted to attach or anything else, you can pop that in here as well. I did not put a due date on this one because I didn't want it to populate to the calendar. I had to add um, a point value because it's asterisk, you, so you needed to have that in order to submit later. I did multiple attempts just in case um, a student maybe accidentally uploaded one and then wanted to change it and then upload again. So instead of having to deal with backend stuff there, I always use multiple attempts, but you can do a single attempt if you want. And then down here is what we're looking at. So this plagiarism tools. So if you want safe assign to be turned on, you want to check this box. And if you want the students to be able to see their safe assign originality report when they're done so that they can look at what they have been plagiarizing or maybe not plagiarizing if they've done a good job, um, it might be nice for them to see that and see what you see. Um, I did not check the box here for exclude submissions from the institutional and global references da database. What the global um, database is, is basically Blackboard at any institution, a paper that's submitted by a student. Uh, they keep that in their database, and so this way it prevents sharing of papers from class to class or institution to institution. And they also have the um, institutional document archive, so it contains all papers submitted to save assign by users at North Allegheny. I made the assignment available so students can access it, and then I selected submit. All right, now to turn in what a student would do just like anything else, they would access the assignment. And just like any other submission, they're going to browse their local files and they're going to go find it. So whether they're on an iPad or their laptop, they still have to browse their local files. Here's the thing. SafeAssign only accepts certain file types. So if you had them write it in a Google Drive or a Google Doc, they need to download it as a PDF. And so once they download it as a PDF, um, if they're on their iPad, they can put it in their Files app, and then they can find it via the Files app. If they're on their laptop, they can put it um, in their downloads or on their desktop or a folder, they'll be able to find it. So I just want to point out this piece again. The students can volunteer to submit their papers to that global reference database that we discussed earlier. So that's up to you if you want to make them do this, but this is a voluntary basis by students when they submit. So I'm going to actually um, find my file here. I'm going to attach it and I'm going to click submit. And so it will um, report in progress. So as a student, I can wait for this to um, upload and get that report. If I don't want to wait as a student, that's okay. I'm going to show you from the teacher end what that looks like. All right, so everybody has submitted. I've had two assignments submitted. I showed you one and I have another one previously submitted. So I'm going to go into my grade center and I'm going to scroll over to my narrative writing assignment. And as you can see, I have submitted something. So I can click the drop down next to it and select attempt or grade attempt. And as you can see, it shows me that I have, I'm viewing one of two gradable items. So like I said before, I've had two submissions. So it shows me the paper here. And right here is the safe assign. I have a 0% overall match, which that is good. The closer to zero you get, the better. So I hit that drop down next to safe assign and I'm able to view this originality report. So even though it says 0%, you may want to still view it. And it brings open a new screen. And so a short summary here, I can click that and it tells me this is low risk that they may, this paper may contain a few common words or phrases, but overall, um, they're not seeing a match anywhere. So that is good news for this student. So now I'm going to go to the next student. And as you can see right off the bat, I see this student has an 86% overall match. That is bad. The closer you get to 100, that is not good. You know that they have 
sampled from around the internet. So if I click that drop down next to Safe Assign again, I get this little drop down area and I can view the originality report. And so right away, I can get a report summary that it tells me this is a very high risk paper. Um, yes, 86% match within the paper. So it looks like that they have um, paraphrased and quoted in excess and need to be reviewed for plagiarism. So what's really nice about this uh, report is that it tells me from the global database it shows me that it has sampled two papers and a, two student papers. So that's why sometimes that global database is nice. And then from the internet, what's really nice here is that it'll tell me the website that it got it from. And it's even color coded over here. So I can see like number one is right here. So for example, this number seven, let's say this now novel, I know that that is that one right there. And I can actually open the source where it came from. And it takes me right to the website where it came from. So that's just a really nice feature that you're able to access where exactly they get it, they got it from on the internet. Uh, with the global database, yes, we know it's from a student paper, but it doesn't give me an option to um, pull up which student. So safe assign is a nice feature. Um, of course, if you're having people cite sources, it will pull those sources up, but you'll know that those are cited sources and they're using them correctly rather than plagiarizing and trying to pass them off as their own. I hope this helps you as you're grading some writing assignments and some other things that where students are researching and pulling in from the internet.